What's up my OGs? It's Emily. I'm back with another video. Today's video is just going to be on this unit from The Wig Dealer. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. But yeah. Okay guys, so hey y'all. It's been a minute. Today's video is brought to you by The Wig Dealer. Um, and this is the packaging. I'm so excited to be doing this video. Um, I have opened the package just to take out the um, the lace tint, but um, well, they call it a lace blending spray, and it's in my permanent lace tint. Um, so I did open up the package just to take this out, but I didn't open anything else in the box, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. So. Shout out to them <clears throat> for that. This is what the inside of the lid looks like. And then everything comes really nicely packaged. So we're going to get into it. So first you have this little bag here. And it's a zip bag. So you just unzip it. And inside you do get a cone or an edge brush. You get a... Um, you know the layering blade and the comb so this is a really I've never received anything like this in a package before um, you get the the lace band to kind of hold your lace down which is really nice they did send their melting spray so this is kind of like a, a free spray but it's their form of a melting spray which is really nice I'm excited to try that they sent two wig dealer clips and they sent a Wig Dealer Deluxe wig cap. Um, so, yeah. And that's everything that comes in the little Wig Dealer pouch. I have this little package here. And this is one of the, this is what the lace tint came in. And mine is in the shade Honey. And I have tested it out, FYI. So, they did a really good job with my match because it matches me perfectly and then the other thing in here is a thermal silkening spray so you spray this when you're flat ironing curling or whatever it's like a heat protectant so I'm really excited to try this out so not only did they send me a unit they sent me some goodies so I'm really excited about that um, and then you have your wig and this is the um, starter wig and it's a Cambodian straight unit in 22 inches um let's see basically with their units it's like you're supposed to be able to just apply them also this unit is hd lace so i'm really excited about that y'all know i was just talking about hd lace and it is the real hd lace because you can tell by the ruffles around the edge and it does come pre-plucked and it smells so good first of all so here she is, and she is a gorgeous. This is the inside of the unit. It is a full frontal 13 by 4, and it comes with the uh, elastic band already in, making it super glueless, and you still get the adjustable straps at the back, sis. So it was pre-plucked, but it wasn't plucked enough for my liking, so... I'm going to go ahead and go in and do a little plucking. If you are a beginner, you definitely do not have to do this. Um, it is definitely pre-plucked. It's just I would like it to be a little bit more plucked. So I'm just going to go in on my own and start plucking it. I'm just going behind the hairline. I'm plucking a little bit more. And I did not bleach these knots, so keep in mind that the the wig plucks super easy for me to not have bleached the knots and for it to be slipping out so easily. Keep in mind that you want to be a little careful if you do get this unit. You want to be a little cautious with how you go about plucking, especially if you are a beginner. I am going to go in with a little bit of a wax stick just to lay things down and kind of get it 
out of my way so I can pluck a little bit faster. If you don't like wax sticks, that's fine. You don't have to use one, but I do feel like once you hit it with the wax stick and then the hot comb, it does lay it down and make plucking a little bit easier. And I like to have a mirror right here in this area, like down here, to look in because with your eyes sometimes, you don't see how much hair you've plucked. But in the mirror, it definitely shows you real time um, of what you're doing. So if you're don't don't just rely solely on your eyes because your eyes will have you bald at the front of your uh, frontal. And I do start behind the hairline, but at a certain point, if I feel like you know I've kind of conquered all, I'm gonna conquer behind the hairline. I still don't have that look that I'm going for, I will start going in, being very intentional and plucking in between places that I feel like I'm just not getting from starting back here. But starting back here does keep you from over plucking that initial hairline. So keep that in mind. That's just another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. Y'all are always asking me about plucking. When I do this, if you can see, I do it in one motion. I don't go across the hairline like this. You want to do it in one motion with where you have decided you need to pluck something. You, you pick a place and you pluck and you pull it back. You don't want to up here just go across plucking hairs out. You want to pull the hairs out. But when you're plucking your frontal anyways, you want to pull the hairs out. You don't want to pluck them like this. If you're doing this, you're probably doing something wrong. You want to pull back on the hairs. Like, I know it looks like we're probably doing this because we get to going so fast, but it's really a backwards motion. It's a backwards motion. Every time you go back, you release. So you pull back, release, go back, pinch. Pull back, release, pinch, pull back, release, pinch, pull back, release. This is what we have so far. This is this side and this is the pre-plucked that I did not do yet side. So that's just the difference in pre-plucked and then you going back in over it. Um, if you find that it's a line of demarcation behind where you where you did pluck you can part that off so just so you know not to pluck and just start plucking from here and this is ultimately going to give you a more natural look when you don't have that line of demarcation behind where you plucked at or where the pre-plucked line what stopped at Okay, so now that I have it on, I am going to go ahead and do some customization to the um, lace. So, um, you can customize your lace with plucking or baby hair. It's totally up to you. I'm going to do a little bit of both. So, I know right here... I like for my hairline to kind of come down into a widow's peak. So what we're doing is this is where we're focusing the plucking X. The other thing I want you guys to keep in mind with all this plucking, this wig, the hair will probably have longevity just because it appears to be really nice hair. But with plucking like this, you can never ensure like longevity of the front part of the hair. You will experience more and more shedding and or balding, if you will, if that's what you want to call it. But I need you to understand that that's not your wig's fault. It's your fault for <laughs> wanting such a customized unit, which nothing is wrong with wanting a customized unit. Like, I... Uh, all of my units are going to be customized units. Like, that's just that on that. But, I'll ne you'll never hear me complaining about my frontal balding. 
I am going to do my method that I like to do and see how their spray reacts to it. So I'm taking the Wig Dealer Melting Spray and I'm pressing it into the lace. So with their melting spray, I can actually spray it directly on because it's a lot more, the nozzle is a lot more concentrated how it comes out. Like free spray just goes wherever the hell it wants to go, but this doesn't really do that. So I'm just about to blow dry it. Melting spray says that you should apply it in sections, which, you know, that's what I do anyway. So, right now, we're just going to start cutting the lace. And we're going to see how well the melting spray held. Oh, that kind of rhymed, you guys. Kind of rhymed. so good in my opinion I like the melting spray right now right here a lot better than free spray just because it smells better and I feel like the nozzle is more like concentrated on like where you wherever you place it that's where the product goes it doesn't just like splatter and go everywhere and it's less messy like it's just less mess and I feel like it dries so much faster like, I feel like that just dried super fast. I also feel like it doesn't make the hair super hard if it gets on the hair. Like, I can still lift up these baby hairs and, well, the edges and everything. So, right here, right off of first impressions, I'm liking the melting spray a little bit better than free spray. So, uh, yeah. she's all installed and she ain't going nowhere yes wig zealer yes so yeah let me grab my hot cup so i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with some of the wig dealer thermal silkening spray so i'm just gonna shake it see if it has any specific oh my god let me just say All of these products smell so freaking good. Like, I'm pretty sure you can find all of this stuff on their website or Instagram. And their Instagram is just at wig dealer. So, uh, I'll put it across the screen and in the description box. But all of these products literally smell so freaking good. I don't know why, what it is. I've been feeling side parts lately. I haven't been into the middle part thing. But, um, yeah, I've been feeling side parts. So, right now I'm just going to press L around my baby hair and this lace is so thin because it is hd lace that i can feel everything like the heat you know with that thick lace that you typically get from asian companies um you can't really feel the heat like that but you can feel everything so i'm just going to start doing a little bit of baby hair and i already kind of told y'all where i prefer my baby hair to be And if y'all hear a lawnmower or anything in the background, it's a lawnmower. They're cutting grass. And I am going to still take my Nairobi.
much it's time to decide where we want our part. And I'm pretty sure I want a side part. I've just been feeling side parts lately. <laughs> perfectly on its own so I didn't have to use it or whatever but um it matches my skin because I did use it on my 613 unit and it definitely matches my skin so if you are my complexion the honey lace tint from wig dealer is a must have must have and it dries super fast and they didn't give me like a red tint, orange tint. It was just like my skin tone, like right off the bat. So definitely recommend their lace tint. And it smelled really good as well. Just like all of these other products that they sent over. It smelled really good. I'm feeling this. I am feeling this. I like this a lot. I love this lace. Like, oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes to the wig dealer. Um, I will have all of their links and everything like that down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. And thank you guys for watching this video. I love y'all and I will talk to you guys in my next one.